Hi everyone, it's Shelly from Koala Knits and Knacks and I'm excited to show you these lighted snowmen. My inspiration actually came from um, Cracker Barrel in the States. We were on, on a holiday and they had they have all kinds of beautiful Christmas stuff in there but they had um, snowmen that their bodies were just lights and the, and the rest of the heads were just like ceramic heads or whatever but I thought oh hey maybe I can do that so um, or copy that a little bit and so I um, came up with this and now I, I went and bought these I'm just gonna put that in the picture just for a second I went and bought these little um, jars at Dollarama. They're they're round around the bottom, so it looks like a snowman body. And you you know when I was when I saw them, I thought, hey, that would that would work perfectly. So um, join me in this tutorial, and I will show you how to make these beautiful lighted snowman which can be used for night lights they can be used to just put on a counter in your bathroom put on a counter in your kitchen line them up underneath your christmas tree um, however you want to decorate with them um, they'd be perfect for that now another idea before i get into the tutorial is if you don't want to put lights in them you can fill them with christmas candies and uh, give them away as a gift like that um, you you can just uh, fill them with whatever fill them with um with some bath salt and put a little one of those little scoops in there and and uh and give it as a gift that way like so many little ideas you can just let your imagination go and uh and use these little snowmen and uh have fun making them so i hope you enjoy this tutorial thanks for joining me um i used my addy 22 for this whole tutorial um there was an exception the green face was made with um the green one there had was made with a centro 40 um and i just uh, I'll point that out in the video to show you the differences between the two, but this tutorial was meant to be made um, completely on your Addy 22. I used four weight yarn um, and uh, you can use whatever yarn that you like. Okay, so go ahead and, and get started and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, now that we have our supplies together, we're going to start with our head. So we're going to grab your Addy 22. You're going to bring your last white needle and your first black needle in line with your um, yarn feeder here. Now I mark my divider peg. I got to do it again. It's looking like it's starting to rub off with a black permanent marker so I know when my end is coming and the beginning is coming, the end and the beginning. And I'm going to do a long tail cast on. So I'm going to put my yarn end in the middle of my machine. I'm going to go around that black needle behind it and then in front of the next, behind and in front behind and in front all the way around and when I get about halfway around I'm going to set my row counter to zero so I'm ready to go when I get to the beginning okay so I'm going to continue going around till my yarn goes behind my last white needle if you didn't get it behind your last white needle then you've um, just done something wrong and you want to start over because it always ends up going in front of the first black needle behind the last white needle okay and so then now that we have um, that ready and we've got our row counter ready we're gonna go ahead and crank out 40 rows, okay? First row is always a little sticky, but there we go. So you go ahead and crank out 40 rows of your white yarn. And when we're done, uh, and when you get to that point, then come back in and we will do a long tail cast off together. All right, so it shouldn't take you long. Let's, uh, let's give her and we'll be done in no time. Okay, see you when you get to 40 rows. All right, so we've got our 40 rows done. So we're going to cut off a, a long tail from our yarn. We're going to open our, we're going to thread our needle. We're going to open our yarn feeder. We're going to put that tail in between the last white and the first black needle. Okay, let that fall into the center there. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a long tail cast off. So in order to do that, you're going to turn your handle, take off the first one, pull that through. You're going to do that all the way around. Take off the second one, pull it through, and the third one. And once you get a few off, then it's loose enough you can take a number of them at a time, okay? Just get that out of the way so it doesn't get tangled, okay? So let's go ahead and get all those off, grabbing them with your thumb so they don't fall off your needle. And we can go around and remove our project. Okay, almost done here. Okay, so we've got our project off the machine. We're gonna go ahead and stretch it out now in every direction, just to smooth it out. 
and I'm going to remove my machine and show you what we do next. Now that we have our project off the machine, we're going to just stretch it in every direction here, put all those stitches in line, and we're going to close up our ends, okay? Just like we would a beanie. We're going to take that end, pull it tight. Now when I'm doing a beanie, like that actually goes on someone's head, I reinforce this by going around the circle a, a couple of times. But for this project, because it's it's like an ornament kind of thing, um, it's not going to be played with too much. It's going to, I'm just going to go ahead and do it that way. Just tighten it up. And so then I'm going to stick my hand in the other end. I'm going to, oops, I got a little bit of a, I'm going to make sure I grab that, okay? I'm going to put my needle in through the middle of that hole, grab it with my hand so that I don't um, I don't snag the inside of the of the project as I pull it through. Then I'm going to pull that next one tight, okay, just like that. Then I'm going to snip this off because I really don't need all that yarn getting in my way. I'm going to take these two ends. And I'm going to pull it and tighten it so that the inside one comes up close to the to the outside one, just like that. Fasten it off, okay? We've got it all fastened off. We've got a tail left there um, that we're going to hide those ends. Uh, and we're going to just uh, do that really quickly now before we begin our next part. Now, my apologies for the static that you heard in the last part of the of the video. Um, I had my door open. I have a craft room downstairs and I had my the door open and the um, dehumidifier was going off and I never realized it. Usually I shut my door, but you know what? I'm so, I, I just don't hear it anymore. So um, my apologies for that. I, I It went off and that's what you hear staticky and that's what the static is that you hear in the background. So if that was a little bit um, distracting to you, my apologies for you, to you for that, okay? So now we're going to take... Um, a piece of yarn we're going to uh, thread our needle and we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, put a, a, a drawstring at the bottom of this so that we can we can cinch it together okay so you're going to pick up a stitch pull through leaving a tail on that end then you're going to go like maybe miss a stitch it's not it's not something that you have to be really particular on um, but you're going to go in and then come up after about five or six stitches pull that through then you're going to just make another go over top one stitch that's just so that it has um, points to pull on when you're gathering. That's why you come up and, and uh, go across a stitch, okay? And then you're going to go across another stitch, go down, feed it up. I'm going to just do that one more time, just across a stitch. And then I'm going to come up with uh, half a stitch in between or a stitch. doesn't matter, however it works out for you. Honestly, it's not, um, it's not crucial that you do that a certain way. You just want to pick up the stitches every once in a while just so that when you are pulling this it's got something to to grab onto. Okay so because that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our our polyfill, our fiber fill, whatever you use to stuff your heads with. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab that and we're going to begin stuffing. Okay till we can get a circle out of this little thing here. Okay. Grab it. It's amazing to me how much polyfill you actually need to stuff a little head. I go through so much polyfill. I buy it by the box full at Michael's. Um, one lady said on on a group that I'm on that um, that she goes and she and your and that lady is possibly uh, subscribed to my channel. So if that was you, thank you for for your suggestion. She goes and she buys pillows, um, fiber fill pillows um, that are you know a good price. And there's a lot of fiber fill in a pillow and she'll buy one for like six bucks and then take it apart and use that fiber fill instead of buying the big box full like this. And I actually think that's genius. So <laughs> I might start doing that if I can find pillows on, on sale for a good price. Um, there we go. So I'm going to keep stuffing that. You want a pretty full firm circle there. Okay, I'm going to do just a little bit more. Just like that. And then you're going to pull on these two ends. You're going to tie them. Now be very careful. The last snowman that I made, I was pulling this. And I guess my I was um, pulling a little tighter than I thought I was. And I broke this string. So um, not a big deal. I just had to unravel it and do it again, which was not hard to do. Um, but just be careful. Okay. I actually want to put some more in there. I don't like. I don't think it's full enough. So it's amazing. You can you can just stuff these little little things so full. 
Um, that's why I'd like to do a double layer for any any time I do a head on anything, I do a double layer um, because I do not like to see the fiber fill through through the uh, project, okay? I think that's perfect. That's gonna be perfect, okay? So I'm going to tie that off. And then I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna reinforce it there, okay? So you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna tie a knot here just so it stays in place. And then I'm going to just go around the circle and close it off firmly and then tie it again, okay? So just picking up my stitches here. So you go ahead and do that and I'll see you when you're done. Okay, before I put the face on this guy, I'm gonna show you um, what I've done here. So this is the Addy 22. This is the central 40, okay? I did the same amount of rows, um, stuffed it so it's pretty much the same size, but you'll see the difference is um, that these stitches are nice and tight together. So it, it looks more even and more uniform. This one is a 22 and it's spread it out so the stitches aren't quite so close together. Now both are nice, um, but I, I chose to do this video showing you the Addy 22 only because a lot of people don't have the center 40. Um, and you can do this whole project on the 22. Um, but again, that's what, that's the difference. The, the way the stitches look. Okay. So for me, I will, I will do, be doing the, um, Addy 40 on any of them that I, uh, give away and sell. Um, but you can do the 22 and it looks just as nice. Um, just a different look. The stitches are wider apart, of course, okay? So now you've got your, um, this is how I do my eyes. You can use safety eyes, but again, I'm going to use yarn because I, I uh, want to make sure that those people who don't have safety eyes are, are able to do this project as well. So you're going to just pick a, a place where you feel the, the first eye would look good, okay? You're going to bring your yarn up. You're going to take your needle and you're going to wrap that yarn end around your needle five or six times. I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do six maybe. Okay. Then you're going to take it back, hold, hold that on, on your needle. You're going to take it back into that same hole. I'm going to pull that end tight a little bit into that same hole and you're going to come out on another area. Okay. Then you're going to just pull that, that yarn end just like that until you get your eye. Trust me, that will not come undone, okay? Now I'm going, I don't like, my eye is not obviously not gonna place it there. So I'm going to just um, go back into that space and I'm gonna go up where I think that next eye would be good. Oh, maybe over just a little bit, about there maybe, okay? So I'm going to put my second eye about there, okay? So then I'm going to wrap my yarn around my needle six times, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to kind of roll it down again so you really get seven or so on there. I'm gonna roll it down so it's close to my eye. I'm going to pull this up and I'm gonna poke it into that same spot. Then come out in another area. And this time I'm gonna to try to come out in the same area that I have this other yarn end, okay? So then you're gonna pull that just like so, and you've got your two eyes, okay? So now you're gonna tie this off. It really is that easy. It looks more complicated than it actually is. The hardest part is keeping your, your head from rolling around and and, uh, <laughs> and uh, keeping it still while you're trying to, to roll your yarn around your needle. But okay, I'm gonna just now hide this end, both of these ends, I'm gonna go back into that. I'm gonna go out the bottom there somewhere, cut it off. Take the end of my needle, pull that up so that it hides the, the yarn end there. And this is where I went in at one point, so I'm gonna do the same thing there. Okay, tucking down that black yarn. Okay, so I've got my two eyes right there. Now it doesn't look 100% great yet, but once you get your nose on, you fiddle with this so that your stitches are all looking like they're in line. Trust me, it's gonna work out. So now you're going to take, um, you're going to take a piece of your orange yarn and we're going to do the nose. Okay, we've got our orange yarn on our needle. We're gonna come up through the side of the head and we're gonna come up just about, just about level with the um, bottom of the eyes and just off to the left of center. Okay, and then we're gonna go down a little bit and then angle that down, okay? 
So easier when, when I've got it like this, okay? So I angled it down and then I angled it down here and I'm gonna go back up to this point and then come back down at this point to form that one side, okay? Then I'm gonna go back into here and then again down to this point. Oh, I lost my yarn. Let me just get that back on. I wondered where that extra yarn, what that end was. Okay, so let me do that again. I'm gonna go down to there. I'm gonna come there. And there we go. There we've got our shape of our nose. And now we're just gonna fill it in, okay? So go ahead and fill that in. Going from the top to the point, to the top, to the point until you've got that filled in and then see me back, okay? Okay, so I think I just have one more to fill in here, but then I'm gonna go across here. I'm gonna get that in the position that I wanted it, which is right there. You have to use your other thumb sometimes to move it over. And I'm gonna just make another line across here, just so I like it, you know, I think it just de defines it a little bit better. And then I'm gonna go down and I'm going to go just below the point that I was working on. And see, I went just, can you see that? I just went right below. And then I'm gonna come up and go through the, about the middle there. Then I'm gonna come out where I went in. It's looking like a oval little pumpkin head here, but it'll, it'll be round, no worries. And then I'm gonna tie this off and hide the end. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've got our eyes, we've got our nose, and we're going to work on our mouth. So let's get our needle thread. We're gonna go back in through the, through the side. And then if you see, there's the, there is the end of the eye. I'm gonna go over. So just a little bit to this point here. So let's, I just have to always have a referencing point here. So I'm going to, and it's up close to the middle of the nose, but I can't get to the middle of the nose on this one. So I'm gonna go up about wherever you think your little smile is going to look good. So I'm gonna go there. And then I'm gonna go down and back up in that same spot and down again because I like to have, I like to do it um, doubled. And then I'm gonna go up about middle in a little ways down. Okay, then I'm gonna go into the middle. So I'm gonna poke it there in the middle. Then I'm going to come across. There we go that out just a little bit and then I'm going to come down into this point and then over to about there now every every strand that only has one I'm going to go over again so this one I'm going to go into there I'm going to go up into that top point point and I'm going to go back down and make, just make sure every one of them has a double strand okay so from here I'm going to go to the end come up here and then up in the middle here. And then when I go back down on the other side of the middle point, I've got it doubled, okay? And then out where I came in. Tie that off and hide it, okay? So there's my smile. It looks like an oval because I've been squeezing the head to get this done, but once we get our hat on, that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really nice, you're gonna like it. So let's tie this off and hide the ends and then I'll see you back. Okay, so let's get our little beanie done. Um, we're going to be using our Addy 22. We're going to do a long tail cast on. So let's bring our last white needle and our first black needle in line with our yarn uh, feeder here. We're gonna go behind the first black needle, in front of the second, behind and in front, all the way around. When I get about halfway around, three quarters of the way around, I set my row counter to zero so that I'm ready to ready to roll when I get to the end there, okay? I'm at the end now. I'm gonna open my yarn guide, put my yarn in there. I'm going to close the feeder and then I'm going to crank. First couple of rows with this particular yarn, I gotta go slow because it just has a hard time grabbing it under that um, first row. Then it's fine, okay? 
And then I'm going to crank out 130 rows of the same color. I'm just gonna keep going till I get 130 rows. So you go ahead and do that, and when you get to 100 and, well, you know, when you get it so it starts to touch the table, generally I have my Addy on, I have a table that's got a hole drilled in it, but I've got my other machines on there right now. I didn't want to take it off for this. So once I get it close to the, and, it, and my tube will just keep going down into that hole. But once you get it to touch the table, once it's touching the table and getting a little bit longer, you're going to want to roll it up. You can't roll the 22 tube like you would the um, bigger machines. So you just fold it up and, and just uh, then let it come hanging out the end so that it falls over the side of your table and then pull it down um, as you go. And and that'll keep the, the um, tightness on on top of the barrel here so that oops that probably didn't look very good in the camera <laughs> that will keep the tightness along the top of the of the barrel here so so um so your project is is uniform in intention okay so let's keep going until we get to 130 rows and then i'll meet you back when you're done that okay Okay, when it clicks, I'm on 130 and I've got to finish that row. And I've finished that row, I'm gonna cut off a tail so that I can do my long tail cast off, okay? So I'm going to open my yarn feeder. I'm going to put that yarn in between the last white and the first black needle. I'm gonna go ahead and thread my needle and then we're going to remove our stitches, okay? So to do that, we're going to go under the first one, take it off. Then rotate your handle again, take off the second one. I like to take off four or five, maybe six before I before I attempt to do any more. But with the angle of my hand right now um, and this camera on this small machine, I have it on a different table, um, I may just continue doing the one all the way around. Here, let me see if I can get a couple more. It's just a little bit awkward. So I'm gonna go around it until I finish taking off all of these stitches and you go ahead and do the same and then I'll meet you when we're done. Okay, now that we have our project off the machine, we're going to stretch it in every direction. You don't have to pull it too tightly. Stretch on it too tightly, but just line up those stitches. Get it all nice and smoothed out and even. Okay, then you're going to close one end, okay? We're gonna close both ends actually, but we'll start on the one end. And we're going to pull on that, on that yarn to tighten it up. Then we're gonna thread our needle and we're gonna just go around and tighten that up. Give it a good close, okay? So I usually go around once. Because this isn't going on an actual head and it's gonna just be an ornament kind of thing, um, you probably wouldn't even need to have to go around once, but um, it doesn't hurt to reinforce it, okay? Then we're gonna give that a little tight pull there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my needle threaded I'm gonna put my hand through the end of the, to the other end of the tube, okay? And put it all the way up into the, into the top there. I'm gonna put my needle, threaded needle into the hole there. I'm gonna grab the point with my hand that's on the inside so that I don't uh, snag up the sides of the inside of my project. Then I'm gonna pull all of that through so I have my end, other end inside out inside of this tube, okay? Then I'm gonna pull this one and you can see they're both together there, just like how we do a beanie, or an adult beanie, or a kid's beanie. And now I'm gonna do exactly what I just did to the other end. I'm gonna thread this needle and I'm gonna reinforce that once, and then I'm going to, to tie it off, okay? So go ahead and do that. Once you've got that done, you're going to just take the two ends and you're going to give them a tight tie there just because then it brings the inside layer right up to the to meet the top layer and it's nice and snug and you got a beautiful project there okay and we're going to cut this off and then we're going to weave the ends in okay and then we've got our beanie now it looks really long but that's what I like for this project I like it to be as you've seen in the picture in the beginning um, it hangs over the side and I think that's what looks nice so if you want a shorter beanie of by all means, just go ahead and make uh, less rows on yours and um, and it won't hang over the side quite so long. But if you make it this long, then put your hand up into the into that tube and pull it out like this just so that you can smooth it out on the inside, okay? Then I'm going to roll up my bottom, get my cuff, okay? And I've got, I'm gonna put a pom-pom at the end there and if you don't know how to make a pom-pom, then see uh, 
the videos on my channel and I'll show you how to do that. I'm not going to make a pom-pom here on this um, particular uh, tutorial, but you can go ahead and make a pom-pom, a little tiny pom-pom and add it to the top there. Okay, so that's how we make our beanie. Okay, whatever color of yarn you chose to do your beanie and you're going to grab um, a piece of that and you're going to, to thread your needle and get ready to sew your beanie onto your head. Now, when I when I was making the nose, etc., I was in the mouth, I was looking at these eyes and I'm going, oh, they're just not even, they're not good. But you know what? They're fine. And and you might have seen that in the camera too and thought, oh, that's not very good. But when you get it all together, it's just surprising how, how it comes together. So you're going to put this beanie on. You're going to push it right over top of of the um, whole entire thing until you see the end out of there. And the reason why I do that is because then I find I can get my brim the way I want it, and then I will just slowly push it up over the eyes, just like so. I want it sitting just above the eyes, okay? And so when I do that, now I'm going to thread my, thread my, um, my needle. I'm gonna go underneath, and I'm going to just pick up the very edge and bring that around. Oops, bring that through. So I leave a tail there and I'm going to just go right underneath and sew right up close. Oh, I caught that piece of yarn. There we go. And so right up close, um, but I'm not going to, to, to pull so tight that you see it buckle. It's gonna stay on your snowman's head, but it's not going to be pulling in any way. So just sew it on nice and, and, uh, and snug, but not tight. Not not tight so that it cinches, okay? And so you're gonna get around to the front there. And then when you get to the side here, you're gonna make sure that it's around the eyes there too. Then you're gonna come down a little bit on the sides. And when it gets to the back, this is how it's kind of looking. And then, see, if I look from the back angle here, I wanna move this down just a little bit. So, so just do a section, then turn it, do a section and turn it to make sure that you have it positioned right. You want it to you want to pretend that you see ears on this little guy so that you cover up those ears as you go around. Um, and then then you have your, your beanie on right. I like to have it a little bit lower. Um, about like that. Okay. So go ahead and sew that on. Um, get it where you like it. And then when you're done that, you're going to fold your, your pom-pom over and you're going to put it on the right side of the face. Okay. Um, over so that you can still see the eye, but you're going to put it on the right side of the face like that. And then when you get your end, this this end, I'm going to lift my camera up one second. Okay, so I, I um, lifted my camera up, but I came or I sewed the whole thing and I came right around to the other end. So so you can see what I mean. So I'm going to to tie these two off, these two ends, just like that. And then I'm going to hide that one. Okay, but for this one, I'm going to take my beanie and I'm going to fold it over just like so okay and then I'm going to take the end that's still on my needle and I'm going to go up um, from behind come up through both of those layers making sure that I see both eyes okay and then I'm going to go down on that same row of stitches I'm just going to go down um, to the next stitch or two stitches down wherever and then I'm just going to pull this through again come out underneath then I'm going to tie these two strings and then I'm going to hide them under in a knot and hide them underneath and then that'll be secure just like that okay so go ahead and do that and I'll see you back okay so there he is um once like I said the face might look a little bit funny but once you get the beanie on and you get it all um tacked down the way you want it it comes together and it looks great so now um we've got to make uh the cover for our jar and um once uh, we do that, then our project is, is pretty much complete. So um, let's uh, get our whatever color of yarn you had used for your um, beanie. That's what we're going to use first. Um, we need waist yarn. So grab your waist yarn um, in a color that's contrasting because you're going to need to see those stitches um, when we flip it up on our, on our machine to make um, a brim. So grab your, your waist yarn, grab your yarn that you used for your beanie, and grab your white. Okay, and we'll see you back. Okay, so you might be learning a new technique here, um, but that's good. I hope you uh, you enjoy the challenge. We're going to make a brim on our machine without taking our project off. Okay, so we're gonna need waste yarn. 
um, for this project or part of the project. So bring your last white needle and your first black needle in line with your machine. Then we're going to do a long tail cast on with your waist yarn in front and behind. We've done that already. Um, until we get to the last white needle, then we're going to put it in our yarn feeder. We're going to crank out, I do seven rows of waist yarn. Five. Oh, that was a loose one. Six. Maybe I'll do one more. And halfway around my last row of waist yarn, I set my counter to zero. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to grab my working yarn, which is my red in this case. I'm going to insert that into my yarn guide, put the tail in the end. I'm going to crank three or four needles. Then I'm going to pull it just so it tightens there. Give this one little knot. I usually do that three or four rows around, but it's okay. I can do it now. And I'm going to crank out 12 rows. Oh, now the sun went down. It's getting dark in here. This went behind a cloud, so let me just stop here. Oh, now it's coming back. <laughs> Eight. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and cut off the end, put it in between the last white and the first black needle. Then this is the tricky part that you might not know. Close your little latch there. You're gonna reach down. You're going to find, let me turn the light on. Now let's just hope that there's not a real big glare on here, okay? We're going to reach down. We're going to pull our work, our work up from the center. And where you tied it here, um, you want to grab the one that's, if you follow this black needle down, it's the one that's right beside it. You're going to, and this is why you need to have a contrasting color of waist yarn. You're going to pick that up and you're going to put that underneath that first little loop of your of your first needle. Then you're going to crank a little bit. You're going to pick up the next stitch. Just pop it over top of that black needle and let it slide up. You're going to go ahead and do that all the way around. Make sure you count 22 or make sure that you end up on your last white needle because you don't want to miss um, a stitch. Okay, so you just keep going around, picking up that stitch with your loom hook, putting it underneath the first notch of your needle. And you're going to do that all the way around. So I've made it all the way around, except for this last one. And I'm going to pick that up. It's a little tight, but you can manage it. And there you go. You've got that on. Um, nope, we've got one more white needle. See, remember I said, don't forget a needle. We got one more white needle. So I want to look for that um, knot that's right, or that, let me see. It's attached to, it's right down here. This is, this is the, um, yarn that you used to tie off on. So that's not what I was going to grab. You got to look down there really carefully and find that little, um, the last uh, um, stitch that you have. Okay. And so because this is, um, we've got a lot of little ends here. I'm going to keep that one across there just for a second, because now I'm going to grab my my next working yarn, which is my white. And I'm going to put that on my yarn guide in between the last white and the first black, I'm going to hold those two or three or however many are there. And I'm going to help that one down a little bit and I'm going to crank. Okay, then I'm going to take these two because I don't want to lose any ends. I'm going to take these two and I'm going to tie my knot right away. Because we want to sit, we, that's our working yarn, we want to save it. And I'm actually going to tie this one too. I think this one's already knotted off, but I, I don't want to make any mistakes. So I'm going to tie those. I'm going to actually trim them because we don't need all that length that's there. And then I'm going to crank out 22 rows. I forgot to change my counter um, at the at the uh, halfway mark there. So I'm, I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I know that rather than what row I'm working on, this says zero now. So I'll, I'm going to count it as though when I get to the end, I'll be, um, it'll click on to, to row two. Um, so anyways, you do it how you do it. I always get mixed up that way out. So I always like to change it um, at the middle of my last row before I change my color um, so that I know what row I'm working on. So now I just have to wire my brain to, to, to um, do it. Or I'm going to just count out 22 rows. That's one, two, 
three. So go ahead and do that until you get to 22 rows. I thought I'd pop on and explain to you what I meant by that. Because generally right now when it clicks on, it's going to click on um, 21, and so I think I'm on row 20. I, I've got to finish row 21, then i got to do row 22. That's usually how I do it. But now when it says 21, because I didn't change it early enough, when I get around, I know I've done 22 because when I get a little closer to this black, it says 22. And so um, it's just a little bit different way of doing it um, than what I'm used to. I always like to count the row that I'm on. So I hope I didn't confuse you with that. I hope that made sense. Um, if not, just fast forward through this part. <laughs> and I'm sorry. So open your, your yarn feeder, take out your yarn, cut off a long tail, and we are going to do a long tail cast off, okay? So we've done this before, so I'm not going to put this on the video. We're just going to go around and take off all of our stitches. I'll see you when you have that done. So if you have never done that technique before, um, with the brim, it's it's how you can make, like you, you can do that same technique with uh, adult or kids beanies for, for a single layer beanie. If you just want the single thinner beanie, um, you do the brim the same way and you have a nice wide brim um, on a single layer beanie. Okay, so now we're going to take that end and we're going to cinch it. The one end, cinch it closed. Go around once, perhaps. Okay, oops. Then you're gonna tie off your knot. And because you only have a single layer here, you don't have a layer in between to hide it, to hide your yarn end. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hide it around the circle that you just uh, went around fat to tighten. Okay, so put it in there. I'm getting tired, obviously I'm making some mistakes here. So you put it in through there and then you put it in through this next side and then you snip that off and you've got your end hidden. Okay, so good job with that. Now we got to take care of this waste yarn. So what we're gonna do is you're going to find your, your end like that. You're gonna roll up the rim, so to speak. You're gonna pinch the stitch and pull. Then you're gonna go around five or six stitches. You're going to roll it up. You're gonna pinch that stitch Grab the top layer and pull. And work your way right around the top layer of, of, uh, of the waist yarn until you get to the end. There we go, that's my last stitch. And then from there you can just pull on it and it'll unravel. As long as you don't get it caught in these uh, ends that are here. I'm gonna have a problem because I tied them already, but we'll just work on that, okay? So I'm gonna snip this. I'm gonna snip all this. Sometimes you get that. Usually they're very easy to pull off, and this is easy. It's just that I tied I tied the ends there to make sure that I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, lose any of my stitches here. Okay, so now we've got this. And again, we don't have, the only double layer we have is this, the red brim. So I'm gonna hide this red yarn in the red brim and cut it off. And for this white string, I'm gonna actually just weave it in and out of these stitches right here, just to get it out of the way. Cut it off and you're good, okay? So now you take your jar that you found at uh, Dollarama and you take off the little handle that was on it and you can slip this right into that little piece that you just finished, okay? Then I pull this up because I want it to be really, um, the stitches to be wide there. So I pull it up and I want this to look like it's a, it's a scarf over my snowman's neck. And then I put my snowman right on there and his head will fall off until you get him molded onto there. As I was saying, his head will um, stay on once you get him molded onto there. Once you once you play with it a bit, uh, it, it will stay on. Okay, but we're going to now make the arms that I made for my little snowman. So I take a black pipe cleaner and I'm gonna fold it in half, then I'm gonna fold it in half again, okay? 
So this is this is my bottom part where my fingers are. So I'm gonna snap, snip that. Okay. Then I'm gonna take one of these. I'm going to squeeze the top here, and I'm gonna take that one that I snipped, and I'm gonna just wrap it around the top, just two or three times. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Okay. Then then I'm going to take this whole part here and just however length I want for the fingers, so to speak, or the hand, I'm gonna just give that a twist, just like that, okay? And then I've got those pieces sticking out there, and this one's too long, so I'm gonna cut it off, and I've got my hand, basically, just like that, okay? I'm going to take this end piece, and I'm gonna tuck it between the red and the white so that it comes up by the jar there, and then I'm gonna glue gun, just put a little bit of glue right there and glue gun that onto onto uh, the jar and so then this can be molded out like like so okay so that's how i do my hands and my arms after i have my hands and my arms glued on and i don't do them completely center i do them just a little bit off center to the front um, so it just looks more normal okay so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a bead of glue along the inside uh, along the outside rim right there and then i'm going to match up the right where the seam is so that when that is on there, it look like then then there's an overlap and it stays like that and it looks like the scarf. Okay, then you don't see the base of the of the neck. So I'm going to do that all the way around um, the the rim of this of the jar as well. Well, around the back and then in front of in between the arms there. Um, just to secure it. Okay, so go ahead and do that. I buy these lights at Dollarama as well. They're two dollars, and you just put in some AA batteries, and I just take that whole thing shove that battery case and all right into the into the jar <laughs> tuck all those those uh, little lights down okay make sure the majority of lights are in front of that little uh that little plastic thing however you just put that in the middle and it's fine then you put your 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 um snowman head right on top of that another one that you can do is um is a tea light okay also buy those from from the Dollarama, okay? And that has a little flickering effect. So I really, really like that one too. Nice to put on the um, bathroom counter when you have guests over, just to have a nice snowman on the counter or on a kitchen counter, anywhere. It's a nice night light for your kids in their room. Um, nice to set a, a bunch of these underneath your Christmas tree once you set it up. Um, it's just a, a great little idea. So I hope you had fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, yeah, I, I can't put the head on here now because I've got, <laughs> you'll see the picture at the beginning, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, um, please do so. I would really, really appreciate that. For, so thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. Take care, my friends. We'll see you next time.